Okay, in this problem it states that triangle XYZ shown here in the blue is congruent to triangle QRS which is shown in the yellow. And what our job is, is to find the length of the sides of triangle QRS. Now as it is, each side of QRS is represented by an expression. But our job is to figure out the actual side length of each one of these three sides. Well in the problem it is given that these triangles are congruent to each other, which means they are the same in every way. That means that each one of the three side lengths are equivalent to each other. For example, this line segment here at the bottom, ZY, would be equal in length to line segment SR because these two side lengths correspond to each other. We would say that line segment XZ right here corresponds to QS, which means that this length will be equal to this length, and of course this length right here, XY, would be equal to this length right here, which is QR. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to write some equations that represent this reality. So we could say that this expression here is equal to this expression here. So let's write that as an equation. So we would say that 4a minus 2 is equal to 2a plus 2. And we can say that 3b minus 2 is equal to 2b plus 1. And we can say that this line segment here, represented by 6c minus 2, is equal to this line segment, represented by the expression 3c plus 4. Okay, what we have to do next is figure out what the value is of a in this equation, the value of b in this equation, and the value of c in this equation. So let's start with this equation over here. Okay, first we're going to do the inverse of minus 2, which is to add 2. And remember when solving equations, what you do to one side, we must do the same thing on the other side to balance out our equation. We bring down the equal sign. And on the left-hand side, these opposites cancel out to be 0, leaving us with 4a. And on the right-hand side, we still have a 2a over here. But now we have to take 2 plus 2 and write that as 4. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take this term here, 2a, and write the opposite of that directly below because we want to produce 0 over on the right-hand side here. So if you had 2a, we're going to take 2a away, which would leave us with nothing. And what we do on the right side, we do on the left side. So we must subtract 2a from 4a which leaves us with 2a. And on the right-hand side, we still have the number 4. Next, we have to divide the left side by 2, because the inverse of multiplying a by 2 is to divide by 2, and we do the same thing on the right-hand side of our equation. 2 divided by 2 is 1, and that leaves us with 1a. And on the right-hand side, we have 2 because 4 divided by 2 is 2. Now at this point we know the value of a is equal to 2, but we must be careful. 2 is not the length of this line segment right here. 2 is what a is equal to. So what we must do now is substitute a in this expression with the number 2. So instead of 2 times a, we do 2 times 2 which is 4, and 4 plus 2 more is equal to 6. So the length of line segment SR is equal to 6. Now let's figure out what the value of B is in this equation. First we do the opposite of subtracting 2, which is to add 2. And we do that to both sides of our equation. So on the left side, that leaves us with 3B. And on the right side, we have 2B plus 3. Now we're going to take this b term here and do the opposite of it. The opposite of positive 2b is negative 2b. And we write the same thing on the left-hand side of our equation. And if we subtract 
2b from 3b, that leaves us with a single b. And on the right-hand side of our equation, that leaves us only with the number 3. So now we know that b is equal to 3, so let's substitute the number 3 for b in this expression right here. So instead of 2 times b, we do 2 times 3, which is 6, and 6 plus 1 more would be 7. So the length of line segment QS is equal to 7. Now let's figure out what the value of C is in this equation right here. First, we're going to do the opposite of subtracting 2, which is to add 2 to both sides of the equation. And on the left-hand side, that leaves us with 6C. On the right side, we have 3C plus 6. Now we have to move this C term over to the left. The inverse of 3C is negative 3C. And we write the same thing on the left-hand side. 6C take away 3C is 3C. And on the right-hand side, we have positive 6 remaining, so we can just write the number 6. Now, because we are multiplying C by 3, we do the inverse of that, which is 2, and divide by 3. And we have to do the same on the right-hand side of our equation as well. 3 divided by 3 is 1, leaving us with 1c on the left. And on the right-hand side, 6 divided by 3 is equal to 2. So now we can go to this expression right here and substitute the variable c with the number 2. And 3 times 2 is 6. And 6 plus 4 more is equal to 10. So we have figured out that line segment SR has a measure of 6 units, line segment QR has a measure of 10 units, and line segment QS has a measure of 7 units.